All right, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Imaging Program. Target Imaging Experience heading out. Uh, my daughter is in the play. How are you doing, Kings? Young Kings, how are you doing? Jewish man. <laughs> Come on, my apartment building. He, he, he turns his back. Ah, these people are ridiculous. These very same people have conspired to keep black people as a permanent underclass. And now they want to act as if they're turning their back. Well, on me? Like, please, I've worked with Jewish people. Let me tell you. They've treated me uh, uh, nice, but they pay me horribly. Okay? <laughs> All right? So understand that they're nice to you when they employ you but they're not uh giving you what you deserve in terms of payment so and as they know that's how they condition us uh to always uh love um symbolism oh uh, they and they pretend nice they're not they're not really nice they pretend nice they work nice okay so you got to know the difference because when they go back home in their personal life uh you know they, they're conspiring against us right not all of them okay because there are some jewish people out there that uh, uh i guess i should say the, the jewish zionists i should say right uh let me clear that up because i was watching a uh um one of those uh jewish rabbi who uh you know speaks about the uh the um the bible right and how it's uh, different from the, the Torah. All right. And uh, so he was saying that, you know, it's basically these Zionist Jewish people. All right. The Zionist, the Zionist Ethiopian Jewish people. No, I'm sorry, not Ethiopian. <laughs> European. Uh, Zionist European uh, Jewish people who are like that. Those are the ones that he said that who are running Hollywood. Uh, these financial institutions that discriminate against uh, uh, particularly black people in America. All right, so uh, what do I want to talk about uh, besides my targeting? Yes, I was watching a video of a uh, black woman. She is uh, an atheist and she was speaking at the Humanist uh, Society, right? And, you know, she pointed out a couple of things that I also pointed out to, which is, you know, considered to be very hypocritical of so-called uh, Christians, particularly black European Christians. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I also hear the same thing all the time. You know, family members will be like, uh, I thank God for health and strength. Right? They'll be like, Oh, I, um, I thank God that I'm so blessed. Okay, now these are basically women who are uh, bad. Some of them have bad health, right? Uh, we're all struggling. Okay, we're, uh, um, you know, then they'll say God is good all the time. Okay, but yet you're, you, you know, if you fall ill, you got to go to the hospital. You don't uh, pray to God only, right? To heal you, you go to the hospital, okay? So then that brings up the other thing. When they say, um, you know, I'll leave it in God, I'll just leave it in God's hand. Let him, or you hear the pastor say, or the preacher say, leave your troubles in God's hand and let him uh, do his work right but then in the same breath when you ask them uh for help with certain things they'll tell you that uh you know god help those who help themselves well which one is it pastor is it should i put it in god's hand and let him take care of it that you just preach or is it that i should do the work right and then god will help me okay so just want you to understand the hypocrisy of religious believers the hypocrisy of their 
thought patterns, what they preach, and what the believers so-called believe. Because the believers will tell you the Bible is the word of God. But when you point something out in the Bible that doesn't agree with how they live in their life, or what they are engaging in, that it says in the Bible goes against their belief system, they'll turn around and tell you, well, the Bible was written by man. Okay? And man is imperfect. So which one is it? Is the Bible the perfect word of God? Is it infallible as what they say? Infallible, right? As what they say. Or is it written by man and man is imperfect? See, you can't choose right, what you want to pick out of the Bible because it makes you feel good. But then, according to how you live your life, those things that are again that the Bible says they are their belief system should be against, you want to now discredit that and say that the Bible was written by man. So here's the question: Do Christians really believe what they claim they believe in, or have they been so conditioned with the same sermons? every Sunday, every Saturday, every whatever days during the week, right? Do they really, really believe in it? And the answer is no. Okay, and it's simple. Just, if you are a non-believer, right? Just point out to them the hypocrisy. So when you see women in churches, right? Preaching and pastoring, the Bible says that women should not be preaching to any man. Look at the New York Predators Department. I tell you, they gotta show up. They gotta show up. Look at it. Are they searching somebody's car? Like I said, they got. They always gotta show up. But you guys should know the tactics by now, right? You guys should know the tactics by now. So anyway, as I was saying, right? Do they really believe that? And the answer is no. Now look, all eyes is going to be on the police down there. All eyes is going to be as they're walking towards me. All eyes is going to be on the police as they, they'll watch me and then they'll watch, they'll watch the, the, the police. Right, so right, this is what they'll do. Right? Okay, so yeah, anyway. As I was saying, right? Women are not supposed to, according to the Bible, women are not supposed to preach to a man. When they're in church, they're supposed to sit down be quiet and let the man preach. That's their own Bible that tells them that. Right? But yet, when you point that out to them, after they tell you that the Bible is, is the Word of God, it is infallible, it is perfect in every way, God's Word is perfect in every way, but yet, they will cross anything out of the Bible that don't agree with their lifestyle. Right? They'll tell you the Bible preach against, uh, like for example, these uh, the homosexual Christians. They'll tell you that the Bible doesn't say anything about homosexuality, but it does. The Bible call in the Bible you'll see that it says that those who engage in same-sex relationships, that is an abomination, right? But like I said, they will cross out the things in the Bible that don't agree with their lifestyle. They're not believers. If I was to join any religion, it would be the Muslim religion. It would be the Muslim religion. But I'm not religious because I know where that belief system came from also. <laughs> right? So yeah, this is what they do. Anyhow. Uh, yeah. So I want you guys to just look when you... I'm going to do this video on the desktop. I'm going to, I'm going to expand it so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right? You guys can see exactly that. Anyhow. All right? So, and they love to use this Hispanic brothers too. These dumbasses. <laughs> All right? Because again, the colorism. It doesn't matter. You know, I know how they operate with their colorism and stuff like that. It doesn't bother me. Okay? It, it does not, it does not bother me. 
now they're, they're looking at the, she's going to, she's looking at the I love New York sign on the bus. Yeah, I do love New York. Okay, as much as they are a bunch of uh, non-thinking, non-critical thinking uh, individuals in New York who are easily led and easily misled, it doesn't really uh, uh, surprise me. And again, more, hopefully today not be another day where it's just a whole bunch of uh, express buses that are going to be coming, like yesterday. That is early still. It's a, it's a little bit after three o'clock. I'm on my way to uh, my daughter's uh, show at the um, Boys and Girls Club. So, like I said, they, you know, you guys will see. They, they have to, they have to show up. Hold on, let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. Like I said, they have, they have to show up. Right? Look, look, look. They have, they have to show up. Again, this is off stage. You guys should know that. You know they got to create a legitimacy of uh them being around the area that i'm going to be in and let's talk about how this is how they like the gang stalkers so when they know that you're going somewhere they will give them the information and they will show up where you're going so you can't say that they're stalking you because they're not following you around this is how they get over the stalking law oh wait wait Oh, it's nice to play has the number 32 in it. Yeah, he's, yeah, one of the police officers in the black SUV, the black, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, mini SUV. Right? Yeah. This is what they do. Right? Because you see, they, they, they want to see if I'm recording. Right? That's what it is. They want to see if I'm recording. But I, I always record. It, it doesn't no matter. I always record. Don't, don't matter to me. Like I said, it's them. They're, they're the one that's trying to hide shit. That's why they don't want me to record. Right? They're the one that's trying to hide shit. That's why they don't want me to record. So anyhow, back to what I was saying. So, do they really believe that the Bible is the true word of God? See, for those of us who know, who read the Bible, right? Because again, I read the Bible when I was younger. I have, I have the Bible. Actually, I have different versions of the Bible. Okay, I have the Wycliffe version. I have the King James version. Uh, um, first edition and second edition and you, oh, you can also find them online okay I also have the, the old English version of the Bible I also have the lost some of the lost scriptures the Naharabi right I also have the Gnostic uh, Bible right the Septuagint okay and I also have the the Greek Orthodox version in which it's translated into English but it is without any of the English names right so there you go like i said you know you're, you always hear this christian talk about oh you don't know the bible i know the bible that's what they always say you don't know the bible but then you tell them in the bible you know jesus condoned slavery they're like oh no that's not true i had a, a, a ti this ti uh very religious he didn't even know that he, when i told him he was like yo man i did not even know that he's, he's like i've been reading the bible for so long I, because that's what it is Religion blinds you to the truth. So when you read the Bible, there's certain things in there you don't read. Right? You can go to a church for a whole year, go to another church for a whole year, and the service will be the same. They'll talk about this. They, they read the same scriptures over and over again. And it's the same scriptures that have been, that have been given to them from slavery. They don't even understand that. So again, do they really believe that the Bible is the word of God? Because when they're living a certain lifestyle and you point out to them that the Bible speaks against it, they'll tell you that the Bible is the is the written by man. So which one is it? Which one is it? Is the Bible the word of God or is it written by man? Because you can't say that it's the word of God and it's perfect, then there should be no woman preachers, right? And I don't understand how homosexual could be Christians. Then the Bible speaks against homosexuality. But you find the most homosexual in the churches. You'll find the most homosexual in the black churches. Okay? They are conditioned. They are conditioned with classical conditioning. It's a psychological term for a psychological process in which you can be conditioned into doing things or you get excited when certain things are being done. Then there is operant conditioning, which is a reward and punishment conditioning. So understand how these psychological processes coincide with what you believe in the Bible and how they use those psychological processes against you. Go ahead, okay. 
Go ahead, man. Sure? Yeah, you're fine. Sure. Yeah. Thanks. Ladies first. Thanks. You gotta get back to chivalry, right? Yeah. Particularly in our community. Right, we let white people 